What's up my friends and the viewers of the tube? Today I'm going to be talking about why it's so important to have good banking relationships. I own a small car rental business. I own about nine cars and with having a good banking relationship, uh, it's going to pay you in dividends because I am actually talking to my new banker and he's going to be saving me quite a bit of money and I'm very excited to uh, talk and show you what he's saving me and how he's saving me saving with me whatever I'm trying to say but you get what I'm saying uh, if you want my banker and you live in the United States uh, comment down below and my banker or something and I'll I'll give you his phone number but um, check this out so this is one of my my uh, cars I have two of them that I'm gonna show you an example of um, this car uh, I bought end of May, uh, beginning of June, and I've already paid $10,000 towards it, and I have about $8,000 left. My interest rate is really high for whatever reason because all my other interest rates are like 6 7 sometimes 8%, but the dealers really screwed me on this, so um, yeah, it is what it is, but my interest to date is $282, but I believe my payment monthly is, I believe it's like 300 and something dollars. I can't remember exactly what it is. I thought it was this for whatever reason, but that's totally not it. But I believe it's like $300. And my uh, Bank of Wells Fargo one here, uh, I, I think it was like 18,000 was a principal, 14,000. Um, and I've paid, uh, that was in two months or so, I've paid about 10,000 of it off. Uh, yeah, about 10,000 of it off. So in the last three months, I've paid $20,000 towards cars. Pretty sweet stuff. Um, but let's get to the most important part is this payment balance. So my next payment, which is not due until like four more months, um, is $252. And this one is like 360, I think it is. Maybe it's like 320, somewhere around there. It's like, it's like 550 bucks for two cars. But uh, my talking with my new uh, banker, who is phenomenal, is going to uh, put it all on a credit card. I can do a um, balance transfer, essentially, with 0% uh, fees and 0% interest and my payment will be 300 no will be 390 at a minimum so essentially I'd be saving a hundred and sixty dollars um, a month not only that but it's zero percent interest so say I decide to only pay the minimum on these uh, it's zero percent interest so 100% of my payment, if I paid 500 still, like the payment I'm still making, 100% of it is gonna go to uh, this payment versus, you know, this one is 7% and the other one is six, uh, 9%. So uh, saving quite a bit, to be honest, um, which will then pay this down even quicker. And if I, let's see, what, what would, so if I do 5,000, 500 times nine, um, it pay down most of it, uh, about 25% of the balance, um, and then it would be turning to a higher uh, interest rate. But with that said, I'm going to, uh, I could then turn it into like a loan, or I could turn it into, uh, get it, it to a line of credit and then pay it off that way instead of having it on a credit card. So um, I'm really excited about this, to be honest. Um, because I'm essentially wiping out my interest. I'm taking off two cars off of my personal uh, credit, and we're also getting a uh, business line. Of, business. I was going to get a business line of credit, but we're going to actually get a business loan for about fifty thousand, which should cover uh, most of my cars uh, that are in my personal credit, which then would pay. Uh, would essentially just. Um, take all of those loans and take them off my personal credit, which then would boost my credit score back up to the 840 range, 830. Uh, I think it's at 810 right now, it dropped a lot. Um, but I would 
take that off my personal credit, which then would open me up to buy more cars if I wanted to um, on my personal credit because um, I'm not having to be limited by uh, my debt to income ratio when it comes to my personal uh, credit, it'd be all on my business credit. So um, that's why it's so important to have a awesome banker. Um, I could, I essentially am saving like $160 a month uh, just in general by doing this and putting it on a credit card, which isn't a lot, but I mean, it pays down the loan faster if I want it to. Um, also, the most important thing is that getting off of my um, my loan, um, my, what is the word I'm looking for? My personal credit so that I can, uh, if I wanted to uh, open that up to buy more cars, because I started getting into the, um, area where they're like, why do you have nine loans when you only have two people living in your house? So, um, have to not only that, but getting commercial insurance is important. Having those loans in the name of the insurance in the business. So all these little roadblocks, which, um, if done correctly and done in the right way, uh, will save you a lot of headache than, um, the way I did it. So, that's it guys. Um, I don't, this was more like a rant today, but, um, the moral of the story is have a good banker, have a good relationship with a good banker because they can save you. Even though this is a small amount of money, uh, I mean, they're saving me. What is that? Like a hundred, 160 divided by save me 1% extra a month. So, uh, I'll take that every single day. So, that's it, guys. Peace. That's a 12% return, actually, so that's way better. Anyways, that's it. Peace.